You know, one thing that teachers love to do is read to their students. I don't know, story time is great. Well, in science, you're going to get story time with the CDC's graphic novel called Preparedness 101 Zombie Pandemic. So here we go. I get to pick the next movie. That one's going to give me nightmares. Oh, you're such a baby. It wasn't that scary. You know that kind of stuff would never really happen. Well, I'm going to try and get some sleep. Don't stay up too late. All right, Max and I will be on the lookout for the boogeyman. <laughs> Very funny. The end. Click. Stay tuned for Channel 2 Nightly News. In other news, several people have been hospitalized after a strange virus began spreading rapidly through the southeast. Huh? Scientists haven't identified the virus yet, but symptoms include slow movement, slurred speech, and violent tendencies. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is recommending that people distance themselves from anyone displaying these symptoms. They are also recommending families gather emergency supplies and make plans in case they are asked to evacuate. You can get more information at emergency.cdc.gov. Emergency supplies? Evacuation? What's going on, Max? Let's check the internet. A zombie virus? This does not look good, Max. Let's check the CDC's website. Emergency preparedness. An emergency preparedness kit, eh? I'd better print this one out. Okay, Max, let's see what we can gather up. Next, the pair go down to the basement. I don't know, I wouldn't go to the basement, but... Uh. Man, I forgot I had this. It used to be my dad's. He was always listening to the weather report when storms came through. Guess we'll add it to the supplies. Whoa, get out of there. Well, it looks like we've got almost everything, Max. Water, food, radio, flashlight. Oh, yeah, buddy. I guess I need to add some of your stuff, too. You can't forget your dog. Well, that should do it. Potato chips. That's not healthy, but I guess you need some unhealthy fun food. Let's see if there have been any new developments. Wow, Max! Looks like they're everywhere. Thump! Huh? Huh? Wait a minute, dogs don't say huh. Maybe we should take a break from the horror movies, Max. I'm acting like Julie, jumping at every noise. Meow! <coughs> the? Let's see what that racket's all about. Meow! <coughs> Snowball, what are you doing? <sniffs> Did Miss Cle Mrs. Clemens let you out again? You know you're not supposed to run off like that. Max, leave Snowball alone. <sniffs> Just then the dull sound of shuffling and moaning can be heard from outside. Now what? Uh, hello? Uh, Mrs. Clemens? Uh... Mrs. Clements, you don't look so good. Maybe you should go lie down, and I'll bring Snowball back for you. Ah! Mrs. Clements? Yeah. Hmm? It's me, Todd, your neighbor. You really don't look well. Why don't you go back home, and I'll bring Snowball by in the morning. <coughs> okay, maybe not. Uh... <coughs> ah, let go! Later, Mrs. Clemens. <laughs> Slam. <laughs> what in the world is going on down here? Something weird is happening. I'm pretty sure Mrs. Clemens was trying to attack her own cat, and she just nearly got me. Oh, I forgot to read the Todd. That came earlier. What on earth are you talking about? Mrs. Clements is a sweet old lady. She wouldn't hurt a fly. I think you got a little too into that movie. No, I'm serious. There's a weird virus going around. Look at the news. Quarantine efforts here in Raleigh haven't done much to contain the spread of the virus. 
Over half the city is now infected, and new cases are showing up throughout the southeast. Back to you at the studio, Samantha. This is a very grave and dangerous situation. The governor has declared a state of emergency and has activated the National Guard. The governor is urging everyone who is not showing symptoms to stay in their homes and keep their doors locked. The CDC is working with local health departments on a vaccine. Until then, bunker down and don't go outside unless you have to. What? I thought you said stuff like this only happened in the movies. What is going on, Todd? I don't know. But it sounds like we better sit tight. Max and I got some supplies together earlier. Maybe we should just sleep down here tonight? Tweep! Minutes later, Todd and Julie have set up sleeping bags and turned on the radio. Warnings have been issued for dozens of counties about staying inside, and area hospitals are being overrun. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Look at all those. Uh, what? What is it, Max? It's still dark out. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Let's take a peek outside and see what's happening. <gasps> what the... Max, I think we better turn on the TV. Oh, boy. Nothing but snow. Let's try the radio. Um, Todd, what's going on now? Stay in your homes. Do not go outside. If you or your family begin showing symptoms such as slowed movement, slurred speech, or violent behaviors, isolate them to a secure area of the house. Stay tuned for more information on where to go. Stay in your... to be continued. Zombie Preparedness, Zombie Pandemic, Part 2 Oh, yeah, that doesn't look good. Several days later, at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta, Georgia, Hey, that's where The Walking Dead takes place. So we're at the CDC. Emerging Infectious Diseases Laboratory. Dr. Green, I was just on my way to the lab. Ah, Dr. Chang. Have we isolated the sample from the state yet? Yes, the health department sent it in Monday, and we've managed to map the virus's DNA. Interesting. Do we know what the source is? It appears to be a highly mutated form of the flu. They've labeled it 25N1. Oh, that didn't go in the order I expected. Let me do that again. So, so Dr. Chang says, yes, the health department sent it in Monday, and we've managed to map the virus DNA. It appears to be a highly mutated form of the flu. They've labeled it 25N1. Interesting. Do we know what the source is? No, sir. The field staff are still trying to investigate where it started, but several of them have now become infected. The zombie virus is spreading rapidly, infecting 21 people for every infected person. All the more reason to get the vaccine made and fast. I agree. I've called everyone in on this one. They're working round the clock. Excellent. Let me show you something Dr. Gosh has been working on. Thomas has been modeling the vaccine and how it will work once it enters the bloodstream. We're using the same type of vaccine that we use for the seasonal flu, but engineering it to target 25N1. And how soon will we be able to distribute this vaccine? It's going to take at least another week to get it, to get the first batch out. Another week? The entire Southeast could be infected by then. Kim, get on the phone with Susan's group. We need to get the messages to the public on staying indoors and avoiding exposure. By the way, as we're learning from COVID, vaccines for brand new viruses take a long time. And as you know, they're working People all over the world, round the clock, to try to get a vaccine. But to do it in a week, that's like science fiction. Of course, the story here is that it's based off of the flu vaccine, and maybe that's why in this story uh, they can have a vaccine in a week, because that just doesn't happen. They say it takes 12 to, to 18 months. I mean, at least a year to a year and a half. So when I read this, I was like, whoa. That would be cool if we could do it in a week. 
Okay. But they need to start moving supplies out to the states as soon as the vaccine is ready. I'll get right on it, Dr. Green. Thomas, have you talked to Stockpile yet? No, sir. Indeed, they're going to be busy. I'll make a call to Hudson and let him know what's coming. Yes, this is Dr. Can. Or Con. No, I'll tell CNN I'll call them back later. Strategic National Stockpile... Uh, bleh. Strategic National Stockpile, Hudson speaking. Hudson, it's green. Time to round up the troops. We're going to have a vaccine ready to go in a week, and we'll need your team to ship out all the meds and supplies that go with it. Roger that. I'll send the alert out to the states and get the trucks ready to ship out. Just let me know when you've got the drugs ready. Meanwhile, back at Todd and Julie's, we're almost out of food. It's been almost a week, Todd, and we haven't left the house. We need to get some food. Something's on the radio. Continues to spread. CDC is urging everyone to practice isolation. Stay in your homes. If you must leave, go directly to a designated safe zone. Vaccines will be shipped to the safe zones as soon as they are ready. Stay tuned for a list of safe zones in your area. Do you think they have food at one of these safe zones? They must. Why else would they tell people to go there? Spalding Elementary, MLK Community Center, and Jefferson High School. Pets are welcome at Lee Elementary in Wayne County. That's us! Lee Elementary! And you can come too, Max! Arf. All right, but how are we going to get out of here? We're going to have to make a run for it. They seem to be slower in the daytime. And the car is not too far away. All right, let's pack a couple of bags and get moving. It's going to be dark soon, and I don't want to be stuck outside with those things. I've got water, the last of the food, a blanket, flashlight, and the radio. Let me get Max's leash on, and I think we're ready. The coast is almost clear. There's one zombie just passing the driveway. Okay, as soon as this guy gets out of the way, I'll tell you when to go. And you gotta run. Er... Go, go, go! Oh, Todd, they're everywhere. I think they've seen us. Okay, Max is in the back. Hurry, Todd. Oh, man, some of them are headed this way. Come on, girl. We're counting on you. Be sure you, your, your door's locked. <gasps> Todd, go! Uh, thump, thump. Vomp. Uh-oh. The fuel light just came on. How far away is that school? What? You're out of gas? We've got ten miles to go and it's starting to get dark. Well, we better drive fast and take chances. Do me a favor and try not to hit any of them. Julie, Todd, and Max race through town to reach the safe zone. The streets are empty. I guess most of, of them go into hiding during the daylight. Oh, that was convenient. We made it! Lee Elementary School! What a sight for sore eyes! And just in time, the car sputtering out. You folks made it just in time. We lock up at dusk and don't reopen until the morning. Oh, that would have been horrible. Go on inside, get screened, sign in, and they'll give you some food and a place to sleep. Notice, by order of the Wayne County Health Department, all persons wishing to enter the safe zone must be screened prior, prior to entry. Look at that. We're screening now, but for COVID. Thank goodness, not for zombies, virus. I'm Nurse Evans. Just follow me so we can get you both screened with a sample blood test. Todd, Julie, and Max follow the nurse to the makeshift lab that has been set up. Mm, look at that, they got food. Oh, whoa. That must be the gym. Later, having been screened for the virus, Julie and Todd are cleared and allowed to enter the gymnasium, which has been converted into a shelter. And that's what they do for um, storm shelters. Gyms and schools and big churches and big buildings where they can put lots of people that's safe from, like, hurricanes and tornadoes and stuff like that. So, see, that's why the CDC made this graphic novel. You prepare for a zombie apocalypse and you're prepared for any disaster. Okay, Max, let's see what's happening outside. 
CDC shipped out its first supply of vaccines against this novel virus that has been ravaging the nation. The first round should reach safe zones as early as this evening. What? We're saved! I can't believe it! Vaccines! I mean, vaccines? Hey folks, the vaccines are on their way! Yay! Uh-oh. While the shelter erupts in cheers, hugs, and tears of relief, outside the school's protective fence, shadowy figures are closing in. Mm. Meanwhile, back at the National Stockpile Warehouse... All right, folks, listen up. At 0600, we start shipping out the first round of vaccine and supplies to the states. From there, the state health departments will divvy up the supplies and take them to the various points of dispensing. Okay, we've got a lot of work to do, so that's so don't expect to get any breaks until everyone has been vaccinated. Now let's move! Around sunset, the first truck arrives at the gate of the school. Hey everybody, it's here! It's here! But with the setting sun, the zombies become more active and they begin closing in on the school. Quick, get the truck inside the gate! Here they come! I guess it must be this one. Yeah, so you go from this one. I think it's this one. Let's try it. The zombie horde surrounds and overpowers the guards, then begin to break into the school, smashing windows and doors. Ooh. Heading for the crowded shelter in the gymnasium. Yeah. Sarge, we're going to get overrun. Ah. We can't just shoot them. These are our fellow citizens. That's the part where on the slide it said, Do zombies or infected have human rights? See, they're not shooting them, so they're getting overrun. Oh my gosh, here they come! Run! Back in the gym, people are chattering happily with their families when they hear glass breaking. All of a sudden, zombies break through the windows and doors and begin streaming in. Mass panic ensues as everyone realizes there's nowhere to run. Todd, what do we do? Run to the lab area. Maybe there's a way out. Eh. Todd, look out! No! Whoa! Ruff, ruff! Max! Woof! Woof! Where? Where what? How does he know what the dog's saying? Wow! It was all just a dream? <laughs> I did it. Todd, what in the world is going on down here? <coughs> I'm sorry, that was my line deep, uh, thunder sounder, sound effect. Thunderstorms coming? Huh? Oh, uh, I was just having a bad dream. I dreamt the country had been taken over by zombies and they almost got us. Ugh, you and your scary movies. See, this is what happens when you watch horror films. What's that on the TV? Come on, I think we better get to the basement. This looks like a bad storm. Turning off the TV, Todd and Julie head down into the basement. What are you looking for? Something that should come in real handy. This! I forgot we had it. It used to be my dad's. I've been thinking. We should really make an emergency kit in case something happened. What if we were stuck in the house or had to evacuate? We need to have a plan. Wow. That old thing still works. Oh, let's see. So maybe it's this one, then this one. Severe thunderstorm warning in effect for the following counties. Prince, George's, Bartow, Wayne. Wayne? Hey, that's us. Turn it up. Okay, but I'm serious. I think we need to make an emergency kit. I hear ya. As soon as this storm passes, we can make all the kits and plans you want. But next time, I'm picking the movie. Meow. The end. That was a good one, wasn't it? All right, and then they've got a nice list here that you're going to need for your next assignment. <laughs>